it's me, Izzy, and today I'm going to be doing a read aloud of a book. The book I'm going to be reading is called Don't Tell Lie, Lucy. Don't Tell Lies, Lucy. So, this book was written, the author was Phil Roxby Cox, and it was illustrated by Jan Mix Caftery. Illustrated means they drew the pictures, and the author means that they wrote the book. So, let's start reading. This is Lucy. She often tells lies. Once, Lucy tore her t-shirt. I was kidnapped by pirates, she cried. Don't tell lies, Lucy. Lucy's mother sadly sighed. Tore means she ripped her t-shirt a little bit. Once, Lucy broke a window. It was a rock from outer space. Don't tell lies, Lucy, said Dad, a sad look on his face. So he looks a little bit sad. You could think about why he might be sad and why they might be sighing. Once, Lucy made a big splash. So you can see she's in the bathtub, it looks like. It was an elephant, not me. Don't tell lies, Lucy, sighed her auntie B or Bay, however you want to say it. So it looks like she's like, ah, sighed her auntie. Looks like they're not very happy. Let's keep that thought in, their head, in our heads. Why do you think they're not very happy? Once, Lucy did some drawing on her bedroom wall. It wasn't me, said Lucy. A famous artist came to stay. Don't tell lies, Lucy, said her Aunt May. She looks very cross. That means she looks very bad and stuff. Once, Lu Once Lucy borrowed Paul's bikes, she ripped, she ripped it into a tree. It wasn't my fault. Paul abandoned, jumped in front of me. Paul runs off angrily to find their family. So it looks like he's actually really mad and maybe a little bit sad because that was his bike. So let's think about it really quick. We have that thought in their head. Why do you think they're mad? And why do you think they're sighing? So you can let me know right now. Let me. Okay, that's a really good thing. So, if you hadn't said it, this is what I think. I think they're maybe a little bit disappointed that she keeps lying. Because they probably know that that's not telling the truth. So, now let's think about, now let's keep reading this story. There'll be no more lying, Lucy. We can't take it anymore. So, I think they're really cross with her. That I'm not lying. Lucy lied. So she said she wasn't lying, but she had been lying. So that was another lie. Her foot upon the floor. She runs from her room to room to room, slamming every door. That's not a really good way to react. When Lucy, while Lucy is sulking on her bed and told she must behave, heading for their house is a great big wave. So that looks like a really big house. That's their house right there. And that's that wave coming. Oh, no. Everybody out, Dad shouts. A huge wave is on the way. So they're trying to make a run for it. The others hurry through the door. Probably everything they can. But Lucy is going to stay. You are lying, Dad, she shouts. I don't believe a word you say. Which is how the great big wave comes. To wash Lucy far away. So she's on the great big wave with her bed. That's the trouble with those who lie, Dad says to Auntie Bay. They think the rest of us lie, too. Anyone for tea? So, now let's think about the story. She lied a lot, and they got really mad at her. Then, when they were trying to tell the truth to her, she thought they were lying. But you should really trust others, and you should never lie. 
a lesson in this story, let's think about the lesson. So you can tell me what you think, and then I'll say what I think. Your turn. That's pretty good. What I think is that the lesson was maybe shouldn't lie. People will like it better if you tell the truth, because then you can talk to them about how you're sorry, and they'll apologize. But if you lie, things won't end that well. I've lied before, and it's better to just tell the truth and not lie. So, that's the story for today, guys. Make sure to watch another of these videos for a fun craft, arts, snack idea. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.